just a quick demo of some new researcher functionality. Um, well, let's start with uh, reading an article here. Uh, let's see this article, for example. I'll open the PDF. Uh, as usual, I'll just make some highlights. I'll quickly export this to the website. And the neat thing that's new here, um, a system that Ryan came up with, is that it also sends, whenever you export a page, it sends a link to this uh, researcher server. And so we can go here and have a look. And I'll just reload this page. And we'll see here, Stian Hawklev was reading, and there's a link to this publication less than a minute ago. So right away, it uh, knows what I've, what different people have been reading, and so you can keep track of your friends and, and your research group. If I click on this, I get access to all the metadata, as you see here. Um, and you see that notes and highlights about this reference, Stian Hawklev. You click on that, and of course, it takes you to the relevant website. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we can go back here and look at other things that people have been reading. So, for example, Crescentia, um, and I actually made this up just for the demo, was reading this other article. And um, I might want to uh, go and look at her notes about this article. So, that's pretty neat. I can go and right away I can see all the really useful notes that she's taken. But here's the other cool thing. What if I want to have this article as part of my uh, library? Well. Uh, I just type uh, the same uh, command that you use for importing from Google Scholar, Control out command b and not only does it grab the citation, it actually automatically downloads the PDF. And that's because this specific citation had a link to the PDF URL built in. So I can open the PDF and off I go to reading. Uh, now another little neat functionality is what if I'm looking through here and I'm reading these notes and I'm thinking, you know, this is actually really relevant to me. I want to look at this particular page. I don't necessarily want to import the full citation and um, into my system. I just want to really quickly look at this page. So if I click this link here, it will download the PDF and open it automatically to the page that I asked for. So here we have the PDF and it's open on page 5 which is where she took her uh, citation from. Of course, we don't see the highlights because she made the highlights in the file on her website. This PDF is downloaded from the author's website, so we're not breaking any copyright. We're not sharing PDFs. All we do is we're sharing the URL. Um, just a final uh, demonstration to show that you can also do this straight from researcher. So if you go here and you, you find uh, another article that you uh, would like to read, um, you can press the same button and it will import the full citation and if there is a, a URL and we see here that there is, uh, it will import the PDF as well. So let me do that. There we go and we have the citation here and we have the PDF and off we go reading.